Hello everybody, hope everybody's doing well. Today I'm in Yoho National Park. Now, I wasn't really particularly planning to come to Yoho, but it just it's kind of worked out that way. Now, for my last video, I've been in the kind of Rockies area for about a week now, waiting for not only the weather to change, but also for the smoke to dissipate. And of course, for that to happen, we need lots of rain. So that has been happening and the smoke is slowly disappearing. It was either wait or go back to Vancouver, which I wasn't terribly keen on doing. So right now I'm waiting for uh, a friend of mine to show up, Jeremy, who's been in a number of my videos. And we're going into an area called the Purcells, um, uh, the Bugaboos. Uh, originally we were going to go into Valhalla, but Valhalla Provincial Park was closed because of the fires. So I've come to an area that I've, I've been to lots of times before. It's somewhat a, of a, a little secret area uh, that I discovered about, I don't know, 15 years or so ago, and I've got some really nice images from here. So what am I gonna do here? Well, it's actually not a landscape area. It's an area that has some beautiful, um, worn rock from, from the river that's here. And um, there's some beautiful patterns in here. I find it quite hard to photograph because, especially in this type of light when it's quite flat, because there's no real depth to the, to the images. There is an image that I took here quite a few years ago, and I'll, I'll post it in a minute, uh, that I, I really like, and it's been quite a, a popular image of mine. I want to see if I can get something similar here. Now, this area is very small, so you're somewhat limited in your compositions, and I tend to keep going back to uh, the areas where I, where I had successes. Uh, I have noticed though, there's quite a bit more water than usual, so I might be able to get something a little bit different. So I'll, I'll see if I can find a composition and then I'll go through it uh, with you and, um, and then we can kind of scrutinize it together, okay? Okay, I think I found a composition that I quite like. It's somewhat similar to the old one um, because it's, you know, it's more or less the same area. My original image from this spot here was actually taken with a 4x5 um, camera and 4x5 film. I think it was Fuji Chrome Velvia. And of course now I'm using digital. Now I'm using a 16 to 35 I want to get close but I want it to be quite wide. Um, now I am, I am having a little bit of difficulty here so if I point down into this pool here you'll notice that there's a bit of a, a bit of a kind of a, of a reflection and if I put a polarizer on then that gets rid of that reflection but as soon as I get rid of the reflection even though the water is a, a really nice color, there's a, a little bit of a hole there. There's nothing really to add interest to that, to that area other than, than just the color. So if I take it without the polarizer, all of a sudden I have this reflection in the, in the pool there. And I think it adds a little bit more interest than uh, without the polarizer. Now the only thing with the reflection is I want to uh, situate it in such a way so that it's not um, being overlapped by the, the rock formations in the foreground. So I've got to keep moving around until I find a spot where you can actually see the full reflection. And there is a little bit more texture in there from the clouds. Um, it's really cloudy today, uh, but there, are, there is some texture in there and it's picking, picking it up a little bit in the water pool. So that, that helps fill the gap as well. So here is my uh, composition, and, and as you can see, it's kind of similar to my, my old one uh, with some slight variations. But the reflection I'm talking about is this one right in the middle here, and you'll notice that it adds a little bit more interest than just a, a big gaping hole. 
if I get my finger out of the way there. Oops. Now, if I turn the the, uh, the polarizer. you'll notice that all of a sudden that reflection is gone and I don't think it's it's quite as interesting now it's a very small effect but as I've said in my previous videos cumulatively all of those small things that seem kind of insignificant when you put them all together they they really do make a big difference in your composition so I think in this case I mean I'll take some with and without the polarizer but I think in this case I think I much prefer it with without uh, polarization, or very little anyway. So I'm going to take some more images of this. I just love the textures in here. And what I really like about this scene is that because the light is so flat and it's somewhat of an abstract, it's really kind of hard to see exactly what it is. Um, this is just a pool of water and in the spring it, it, it um, it floods and it carves out these rock patterns uh, in this riverbed. kind of interesting so I've, I've gotten a little bit lower down and uh, I'm, I'm kind of using the same pool for reflections and I've managed to get uh, a, a tree reflected in the pool and I think it's kind of interesting because it kind of gives um, I don't know it, it gives the whole abstract image a, a little bit of interest like when you look at it well when I look at it I kind of think oh what's that you know how did that tree get in there and it's funny the uh, the composition instantly reminded me of a, a photograph that I saw um, from another photographer named Galen Rao, which I, I'm sure a lot of you have heard of or, or know of. Um, Galen had a, an image many years ago of, um, I can vaguely remember it, but it was a, I think it was a waterfall and there was a little pool and then there were some reflections of some trees in there. And this doesn't look anything like that, but it, it kind of reminded me of that which kind of brings me to another point about uh, looking at other photographers' work for inspiration. Um, I, I always look at, at uh, other photographers' work for uh, ideas and inspiration. Um, I don't copy their work or, or try not to copy their work, but it's, it's a great resource to, to get some ideas and, and you know, really kind of get the creative juices flowing. And that's kind of what, what this has done um, it's funny how that this composition really reminded me of that image when in reality it doesn't look anything like it but it was kind of the, along the same lines if you know what I mean so it's always in the back of my head all of the images that I've always looked at and you know if I come to a situation that's kind of similar then you know it gives me some, some good ideas for, um, for compositions and, and, and future compositions so I'll show you the image and um, I'll, I'll kind of go through what I what I mean by adding a bit of a reflection to add some interest and a little bit of intrigue to the uh, to the composition. Again, I don't think I'm going to use a polarizer because if I did, it would just get rid of that reflection, which is, in my mind, kind of the you know the whole point of the photograph. Okay, so now as I show you the the composition, you can see the reflection of the tree in the center here. I've decided to put it right in the center, and I might crop it a little bit. Um, but, but as you can see, it, it kind of adds a little bit of interest to it. Um, now, right now, it's, it's moving around quite a bit, so I'll wait for it to calm down so that you get a, a really nice reflection of it. And again, you know, if I turn the, 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 uh, the polarizer, uh, it just gets rid of that, that reflection altogether, which is not what I, what I want. I really want that reflection of that tree in there. And also, whoops, sorry. Also in here, there's some reflections of trees in here, and I might try and bring those out in, in uh, Lightroom or Photoshop as well. I just absolutely love the textures in here. Um, this bit here might not work. I might, I might crop it to a, a 4 by 5 uh, aspect ratio. I, I'm not really sure, because I kind of like this, this curvature in here. And you can see it, most of the curve or the circular motion is, in on, is on the left side here. 
whereas there's not really much going on on the right side here. Anyway, this is what I'm, I'm playing around with. Beautiful textures, lovely patterns. Um, I mean, I could, I could spend hours in this, in this tiny little area photographing these abstracts. Okay, now, the more I spend on this, uh, this scene, the more I start to find. There's a, a curved kind of pocket here, worn away by rocks swirling around in the foreground here. So what I've done is I got down really low with my uh, wide angle, my 16 to 35, and I want to try and get part of that in the, uh, in the foreground because it has these beautiful curves in here with these... Um, these striations and, and because it's rained recently the, the cracks are filled with uh, dampness so it, it really defines those those lines now the only problem is is that I just can't get enough uh, uh, depth for the foreground to the background so I'm going to do a little bit of focus stacking like I did in my uh, video uh, a couple of weeks ago and uh, for this video I probably only need uh, you know four or five uh, stacked images and of course the Nikon uh, uh, does a great a great job at, at stacking them automatically and once again it's just awesome to have this uh, the flip screen I, 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 I really do love this flip screen especially as I get older because um, I have had really hard time uh, not so much getting down but getting up again <laughs> I mean getting down like this is uh, it's pretty awkward so um, yeah, the screen is, is really awesome. <laughs> So that was a quick one this week. As I said before, I'm just here for a very short period of time, meeting Jeremy, gonna hike into the bugaboo. So keep an eye out for uh, that video. Uh, fingers crossed for non-hazy skies and, uh, and good photographic weather. All right, everybody, please be sure to give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video and don't forget to subscribe if you enjoy the content of all my other videos. So uh, until next time, thanks for watching.